Welcome filmmakers, fans, and friends to this special episode of Indie Cinema Showcase. We're your host, Christina Carmona. And I'm Nando Luis Rojo. As you can see, this episode is a little different from our normal episodes. We're here at Give Kids the World Village for a night of a million lights. Yes, this is an event that's good for everyone, families, couples, anybody looking for a little holiday cheer. Plus, all the money that's raised by this event is going out to help Give Kids the World families. So definitely check it out. You ready to do this? I am. So right. excited. Let's go. Director of Advancement here at Give Kids the World Village. Adrian, thank you so much for spending some time with me to talk about this wonderful place. No, of course, of course. Coming up, wait. Um, we're so glad you came out to see it. Yes. So before anything, tell us a little bit about Give Kids the World Village. Yeah, so Give Kids the World was founded in 1986 by Henry Landworth, who had this idea and this need that there was that children with critical illnesses needed a place to stay when they were getting their wish to here to Central Florida. And so we opened the village and we've grown and grown and this is our 35th year anniversary. Wow. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. So what about this event? So Night of a Million Lights is a 52 night. We still have plenty of nights left where guests can come and get a full immersive light experience. They can walk and see dancing lights, they can meet Santa in this summer home, a tram tour around the village, and all while the lights are dancing to music. That's, I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. Now tell us a little bit about these houses, because I noticed they're all very different. Yeah, that's kind of the whimsy of Give Kids the World. So we have served families from all 50 states in 76 different countries, and when they come to Give Kids the World, they get to stay for a cost-free week-long wish trip, and they stay in our very whimsically, each one unique uh, villas. Yeah, and what about the sponsors? I see that there's like Margaritaville, there's Universal, Rent-A-Car, American Airlines, yeah. I mean, everything. Yeah, it truly takes a village of sponsors to make Give Kids the World happen, and so we've invited our sponsors to help participate in Night of a Million Lights. So you're right, there's Universal, Walt Disney World, SeaWorld, all have themed villas that you can go stroll and see their designs in front of their houses. Fantastic. Now, do we have anybody staying in property? Yeah, now? we are so thankful that we were able to welcome Wish Families back at the start of 2021. So we do have Wish Families staying with us this year. And you know, how did you get involved with Give yeah. Kids the World? No, I, um, Give Kids the World is near and dear to my heart. My younger brother, Jake, was diagnosed with brain cancer and through, um, we were living in Minnesota and was granted a wish and his wish was to meet Mickey Mouse and eat uh, March, um, mashed potatoes. So our wish was 22 years ago but it's still really special to our family. So throughout the years, I've been able to now be on staff nearly eight years at the village. Wow, and you're making that magic yeah. for other families. Yeah. Guys, this is a fantastic place, a fantastic event. If you really want to come out, where can they go? Yep. To even volunteer. Volunteer, yes. We are looking for volunteers to help make it happen as well. You can go to www.gktw.org. All right, you heard it here. If you have the chance, come visit. It's fantastic. Thank you, Adrian. Thank you. Hi, 
I had Willem's tumor, which is a type of kidney cancer, and it affects the kidney. So there was pain, just regular pain to my body functioning. There was pain from all of this happening. And then there was pain from always my mom and dad seeing me and I cry. In many cases, I see myself in this children's faces. Because when I was 13, I was taken to Auschwitz, which was one of the worst camps you could possibly be in. I had no, no idea that I would be living. These children have no idea in many cases. They die. They never live to grow up. I met the executive director of Make-A-Wish Foundation. And I told them that I'd like to help the families coming into this area. Uh, what would be the thing that I, they needed? And they said, we need a place for them to come. I started to build one villa first. As soon as I, as soon as I started that villa, I started other villa. I felt great. I felt wonderful. I couldn't do enough. I just couldn't. The first thing I saw was the Give Kids the World building, and I saw, okay, you know, I had hearts all around it. And then I saw the, um, the ice cream palace. And I was like, oh my gosh, I want ice cream right now. You know, I was all happy. I was running around. I was hyper. I was happy, you know. I like to believe that we are prolonging the lives. I, that's my real thought. Something happens to that child. Their little system is amazing. There is something in me that uh, I believe in what I'm doing here for sure. And I wouldn't want it to change that for one second. There's something here that that makes it happen. And there must be God's. God is right here in this village. If you can't make it out to Night of a Million Lights and still want to donate, Give Kids the World gives you the option to text to donate just by texting NOMAL to 44321. Hey guys, we're here right in between Donner's driveway tailgate and Santa's attic. And we don't know what to do first. I mean, they got merchandise over here. But they got mac and cheese over here. Ooh. I think mac and cheese first, and then we'll do some shopping. Yeah. Sound like a plan? Yeah. Rudolph on three. Rudolph on three. One, One two, two, three. three. Rudolph! Rudolph. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bell swing and jingle bells ring. Snowing and blowing a bushels of fun. Now the jingle hop has begun. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bells chime and jingle bell time. Dancing and prancing in jingle bell square. In I'm totally making a mess. It's so good. So good. Mm. Mm. Can't go wrong with Boston Market. No. Mac and cheese. Mm. Ah. So good. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Wait, where are you going with that? Mm. Wait, we're sharing. Share. I'm telling Santa. Giddy up, jingle horse, pick up your feet. Jingle around the clock. Mix and a mangle in the jingle and feet. That's the jingle bell. That's the jingle bell. That's the jingle bell. We're here at Santa's Attic where you can find a lot of gifts to bring home to the family. They have shirts, they have cool stuffed animals. And things for the adults. I mean, sometimes you need it in the holidays. Right? I'm gonna need one of these.
So it says here that they have a Christmas tree trail. We should probably check that out late. You're not, Christina. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just gonna go. Hi, I'm Cammie, and I want to tell you about one of the most amazing places in the world, Give Kids the World Village. It's a magical place where kids with critical illnesses come from all over the world to fulfill one big wish, to visit Central Florida's most awesome theme parks. This 84-acre resort is so much more than a hotel. We got tickets to the area's coolest attractions, celebrated every night at a different party, and we got to eat yummy meals every day, including ice cream, for breakfast. It's an awesome place that gives special kids what they need more than anything, a chance to feel normal and have fun. They count on the support of caring people and companies to keep the magic alive and kids laughing. To learn how you can help, visit givekidstheworld.org. Well, I finally found Christina. So now we're gonna go check out the tree trail. Don't, don't ever, don't disappear on me, man. She looked nothing like me. I don't even, I mean. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Let's go see this. <laughs> I mean, it is, I mean, stuffed with trees. It feels like Christmas in here. It, it, it really does. And if you actually stop and look at each one of these trees, you can see that they've belonged to a different sponsor. Yes. So there is something to look at. And I mean, where's our tree? We need a tree here. I know, we do need a tree here. Next year. Definitely next year. But it has to be purple. Pink. Purple. Pink. Purple. Pink. Purple. Pink. Purple. Pink. Purple. Pink. This year, Give Kids the World finally opened back up to families, which means that we have families staying on property. So for this event, you get to walk half of it, and the other half, you have to do it on tram. And the tram is actually voiced by... Jody Benson. Ariel. There it is. Let's go.
right, guys, that's all the time we have for our visit at Give Kids the World Village Night of a Million Lights. Thank you so much to Adrian for chatting with me today. I don't know about you, but tonight has been amazing. I mean, if you really want a dose of Christmas, this is the place. I mean, I'm like, I don't know, like I'm, I'm overjoyed right now. All right, and guys, you have all the information, so make sure you go and visit Give Kids the World, as well as visit our socials, Facebook at Indie Cinema Showcase, ICS TV Show on Instagram, and IndieCinemaShowcase.com. And if you have an event that you want Indie Cinema Showcase to check out, email us at ICSTV at Yahoo.com. And as they say in the movie business, that's a wrap. We'll see you next time.